It's going to be a double date. Yes. Because Hannah and Rafe are coming with us. They are. And um, we'll let you know how the movie is afterwards. Forget about the Jewish girl. Clear those troublemaking foreigners right out of the country. The more we do nothing. Oh, that's a big step. What's that? Ooh, it's windy. What's that saying? That's a big step for mankind. That fake Neil Armstrong crap. Ooh! Look how big that step is. I don't think I could step it. Anyways. One small step for man, one giant leap for man. Yeah, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Y'all know moon landing ain't real. Shh. But we're about to go into the corn maze now and Amberlynn's trying to puss out, so. Cause it's like 5,000 feet. It's, <laughs> it's corn? It's corn? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we'll go in here, we'll find uh, Malachi and uh, it'll get rid of uh, Amberlynn. <laughs> Everybody ready? You guys ready? Now go and get lost. Well, at least in us, no bad language. One is very tender ears. Is that what it said? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny because Good, it's, it's funny. funny. Come on, grannies. This is already hills. <laughs> like they're turning around. So we just got out of the corn maze and we got lost. And we never even found the heart. So we just gave up and tried finding our way out. So, we're about to do the corn maze. There's no liability for injury or death. So let's do this. Oh shit! It's shape of a cow. Or a bear. It's a bear. Let's do this. So, I went and I tried to do the corn maze with everyone and I wasn't five minutes in until I had to literally stop. This just shows that how my weight really is getting in the way of just, you know, normal things. Like, I'm 26 years old. I should be able to do, like, laps in the corn maze and be fine with it. But five minutes in, I was like, I can't breathe. My heart's beating too quickly because it's like hills. It's not on flat land. And I just feel ashamed. All right. We'll see you guys at the fair. Toodles. Are you excited? $10 wristband day. So it's half off. See? Oh. <laughs> Do you put it on yourself? No, you gotta go through this. Go. Thank you. Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> Destiny's on this one right there. <laughs> now it's lifting up. Oh my lances. I can't do rides. Like Destiny's fixing to do this one where it like goes around in a circle and you're like upside down. Like I just can't. Oh my gosh. If you guys are wondering why I'm not going on any rides, it's because one, I'm a little too big for most big? of these. And I'm like scared of rides. Like I'm scared of stuff like this. Like going upside down, going up high. Like I am like scared of heights like completely. So I just can't do it. swimming in front of people I think already said that so I don't know what we're gonna do those people the one of the ladies out there she's like kind of oldish I think she might be old so old people are good no crystal's just shy in general like she's gorgeous 
She's not even fat, so she shouldn't be shy, but she's just shy in general. So I understood why she didn't want to go out there, but this is like the story of my life. Like, I literally just wasted a trip here. I felt completely embarrassed. I kept going out there to see if people have left. And I know they see me spying on them, so that makes it even more embarrassing. Oh, I mean, my whole, our whole night's ruined, all because I am too shy to swim in front of people. Because I know they're gonna make fun of me, I know they're gonna laugh at me. And even if they don't do it out loud, they're still doing it like in their, in their head and in their minds and people's faces that they make. I mean, I can read through people, so I just didn't want to deal with that, so. A month ago, when I would get in the car, I would have to have the seat back and I would have to have Beggy, Beggy? <laughs> Who the heck is Beggy? I'm sorry, babe. I would have to have Becky whew, close the door for me because I couldn't close the door because I was too big. So I would have to like do this little thing where I like kind of went on my left leg and kind of put my right leg on top of my left one almost it kind of felt like and I'd have to be like you know those like cans of biscuits where they're like in the can and it's like super like tight in there but then when you open the can of biscuits it like pops open that's literally how it was when I was in a car I went out with Becky and her family and friends and that was just yesterday and I haven't been in a car since then because I've gotten nervous about it and it's uncomfortable in a car. Like, I couldn't fit. And I was telling Becky and I was just like so nervous. I was like, I don't want to experience that again. And she was like, you know, it's okay. You've lost, you know, almost 18 pounds because it was before I weighed in myself today. And I was like, how is that going to make a big difference? You can't even physically tell that I've lost weight yet. And she was just like, it's okay. Like, we'll try. We'll make it work. And so I got in the car and... I could close the door by myself. I didn't have to have the seat way back anymore. It's like those 18 pounds, like I'm getting messages where people are like, you can't even tell you've lost 18 or you can't even, well, people have been saying you can't even tell you've lost 11 pounds because that's your guys' last update, but you guys are getting this video. So, um, so a lot of people are saying like, you can't even tell that you've lost weight. And I know I can't tell either. Still the horse, the bean bags and her.